Okay, welcome to the Breadcast. I'm your host, Joe Saunders, and this is a podcast about baking, where each episode I, an amateur baker, make a different homemade bread and share it with a special guest. And first up, I just want to say thanks for listening to this, our very first episode of a three-episode series. Uh, And before I get to my guest and this episode's bread, I just want to talk a little bit more about what this show is. And as I've said, I'm a particular baker, and I don't think I'm actually a particularly good baker. But over the past few years, I've kind of dabbled with different bread recipes, ranging from quick breads to yeast breads to other related baked goods. And before that, I didn't really know much about cooking, but I found it to be kind of a really approachable, low stakes way to get more comfortable in the kitchen. It's a hobby that's fun, but like challenging, but like not that challenging. And I thought this show could just be a nice way to explore that more and to share what I've learned and to, I don't know, learn some things from my guests. And so, like I said, this is going to be the first of three episodes. Uh, The Breadcast is going to be a trilogy, kind of in the mold of cinema's most famous trilogies, such as The Godfather or Back to the Future or Baz Luhrmann's Red Curtain trilogy. Uh, I'd say that this first episode is a lot like the first entry of the Red Curtain trilogy, 1992's Strictly Ballroom. But instead of the characters mixing it up on a hot dance floor, I've been mixing up flour and eggs and putting them in a hot oven. And now we're going to eat what came out of that oven. And well, let's get started. Uh, and I'm going to welcome my first guest on my very first episode of the Breadcast, uh, my friend Lauren McGuire. Hi, Lauren. Hi, hi, Joe. How are you doing? What a wholesome show you have. Thank you. That's uh, that's yeah. That's what I'm going for. I want this to be wholesome, all ages. I'm so family excited. friendly. <laughs> uh, I've huh? tried many of Joe's breads, and he says he's an amateur baker, but he's pretty good. Oh. Thank you. Well, we'll see. You know, we're going to try something today, and uh, it might be good or it might be bad. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, that's good. I just want honesty. There's no pressure here. If the bread is bad, we can talk about it, and that okay. that is that is good to learn too. You should uh, also know that I like garbage. You do. You so. said you said you were in the email <laughs> when I asked you if you want to do this. You said you you would eat anything. <laughs> I'll eat anything. I guess as long as it doesn't have like shit in it or something. Okay. I'll, has, I'll eat it. Like if you wanted to make like worm bread or or bug bread, I would try anything. I would try it. Um, it would be interesting to try warm bread. Yeah, Maybe. well, they make like a, a cricket flour now. Oh, so yeah? just throwing that out there. Uh, I guess I'll have to look into cricket flour. Yeah. Um, you know, I've never made warm bread, but I've made warm warm bread before. Well, you should try making warm worm <laughs> bread. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll have to Google that. Yeah. Um, Lauren, what's your, you like, so you say you'll eat anything. What's your favorite kind of bread? Um, when I make bread, I usually like to make like sweet stuff because, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I like it to be like a treat. So I'll make like cupcakes or cake or something like that. I don't, I rarely ever, I maybe only a few times I've ever made actual bread. Uh-huh. Uh, and it turns out fine. It's never b- so much better than store bought that I'm like, oh, I'm never going back. Like it's a, like the the difference doesn't seem to make it worth the time and effort, so I usually just buy store bought bread cuz I'm lazy. Yeah, that's a I've had that problem too where I or I don't know if it's a problem but like I make it and it, it comes out and I'm just like this isn't as good as something that I a loaf from the store. And so what is Yeah, I think the sugar that's why I go for sugary stuff because it's like there's just an automatic dopamine that you get where you're like I made this and it's sugary. <laughs> yeah. Uh I just made cupcakes for my husband's birthday a couple days ago that turned out great. Mm, what kind were they? Um the cake part was a uh, lemon olive oil cake, which is super good and de- it's like dense but at the same time like fluffy. I don't know how yeah. to describe it. So good. Uh, we use lemon and oranges from our like tree at our house. So it felt special. Ooh. And then I made like a homemade cream cheese frosting, which is the kind that my mom showed me how to make. So like, oh. that's kind of one of the only kinds I have experience making. Yeah. That sounds, uh, I haven't made my own frosting yet. It's really fun. And with cream cheese frosting, you can add whatever you want. So I added uh, dried uh, strawberries to it. So it made it like strawberry icing on a lemon cake. It was delicious um that sounds good as hell yeah uh it was <laughs> it was a hit of the party i gotta say it, I, mm. it's the only time i've ever had it like had a brought a dessert to a party and every single piece of it was gone by the end 
You yeah. know, that's what it's all about when you're baking yeah. is taking it somewhere and people being excited about it and trying it. Mm-hmm. And nothing feels worse than when you put it out there and nobody eats it. Oh, ouch. 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 That's somebody punched my heart. Yeah. Um, well, that sounds really good. And mm-hmm. what you made. And I'm a little nervous that just talking about that, that just talking about that is going to, you know, has already upstaged what I've made. But let me bring out our bread and let's try it. Okay. <gasps> the loaf is here. Uh, can the I guess what is, it is? The loaf is here. Uh, or you, no, you should announce you it. Can, you, can, you can guess what it is. Do you want to guess Okay, what? I see. Um, let me describe it for our viewers. Um, so it's a rectangular kind of loaf. It looks like it came in like, like, like if you imagine a um, banana bread kind of situation. There's like a nice crack at the top. It's very brown. But there looks to me to be like little flecks of green in it, which makes me think it is a zucchini bread. You are correct. It is a zucchini yes! bread. It is a z- zucchini spice bread. Ooh. Um, I got, you know, I've made zucchini bread before, but I've never made this zucchini bread book kind before. I got this recipe off the Martha Stewart website. Nice. Um, and let's, should we cut into it and yeah. see how it goes? Yeah. Uh, I made this last night. It's been sitting in the fridge. I watch a lot of uh, British Bake Off, so when they, when they cut it, we got to do, we got to like really look at it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking for, but okay. okay. Very, as Mary Berry would say, clues texture. <laughs> uh, my mom made a lot of zucchini bread. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you're competing with my mother right now. You know, it's a, it's a classic <laughs> quick bread. Go ahead and help okay, yourself to great. a slice. Uh, Mark okay. David, would you like it's a slice cold. too? It's a little chilly. A hmm? It's a little chilled. It is chilled. You know, this was, so I made it, I chose zucchini bread for this first week because it is kind of a classic uh, quick bread, like banana bread. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's kind of like the first kind of thing I started off baking. Mm-hmm. So I thought this would be kind of a good entry point for the podcast. Yeah, this is, um, okay. Let's see, well, here, let let's me. dig in. Let me dig in. I smell, I'm going to say uh, walnuts. There are no nuts in this. Mm, okay. But okay. there are, there's nutmeg. Mm, mm. And there's a whole bunch of spices in this. It's really good. I think this is, yeah, this seems pretty good. I was nervous about how this would come out, but I think it turned out pretty well. When you hear zucchini bread, you think it's going to be, I don't know, gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> zucchini, but, zucchinis are not good. No, no, they're, uh, they're, they're, the thing that you have to eat because your doctor says that you need to eat more vegetables. <laughs> They're not like enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> uh, but this is a way to, to trick people into get, getting some healthy vegetables into their food. You know, I was looking at the comments for um, this recipe on the Martha Stewart side, mm-hmm. and a woman on there said that uh, she makes zucchini bread as a way to trick her uh, husband into eating vegetables. Oh, oh um, man. That's a little bit sad because yeah. your grown adult husband should just eat them. But at the same time, you know, Trick them when you can. I guess if this works, this also has... So let me kind of go tell you what's through this. I got this off the Martha Stewart site. It's called Zucchini Spice Bread. Uh, Zucchini, brown sugar, small amount of granulated regular sugar, two about two-thirds cups of vegetable oil, Hmm. no butter or anything, just vegetable oil, vanilla uh, extract, uh, two eggs, flour, baking powder, baking soda, and then here are all the spices that make this uh, zucchini spice. Cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, and salt, I guess, if you consider salt a spice. Okay, nice. So I think one of the reasons I never make bread like this is, like, so if you have all the ingredients, I feel like making a bread like this is pretty cheap. Yeah. But if you don't, if you're, like, on a whim, want to decide to try a new recipe, and then you're like, oh, shit, look how many freaking spices I got to buy. And spices are pretty expensive. Yeah. But now I'm sure, I'm guessing you now have an arsenal of of spices, so. I did, fortunately, I was thinking I was gonna have to go, I was prepared to go out and buy spices to make this for this mm-hmm. first episode, but we Well, we it's did. a tax write-off for you. Yeah, it is mm-hmm. a tax write-off. <laughs> this is my primary income right now. <laughs> um, uh, but I had all of these. We had nutmeg, we had ginger, we had cloves, we had cinnamon. Um, but it is like very, I remember when I was first starting baking, it was like to see a big list like that, I'd be like, oh, I have to go buy all those. Each of those is probably $5 a piece, 20 yeah. bucks already for like just these little powders. Yeah. And, and I think it's a, it's a thing that bars people from starting. Yeah. Um, cause like, especially as like a college student or whatever, like baking is like, you can bake for yourself and end up saving so much money, but, but ultimately when you 
go to the grocery store and you're like, it's going to cost me $50 to bake a bread. Yeah. And you're not thinking about like, oh, I can keep baking for like uh, two more months using this. But just that the initial cost is yeah. kind of a barrier. I remember I used to do sometimes when I would when I was younger in college and my early 20s and I would buy that stuff. I'd be like, I'm just going to buy this stuff and I'm going to make a bunch of bread. I would do it once and it would mm. sit in my cupboard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that stuff, those uh, things would sit in my cupboard for years. Mm hmm. And I would forget about them and never do it again. How much zucchini is in this? Great question. Uh, it was about one and three fourths cup of shredded zucchini. Okay. Which ended up being a little over. Uh, it was like one and a half, maybe six inch long zucchinis. One and a half. Okay. So two. I had two six inch zucchinis. I got the grater out. I grated them. Uh, and that was about uh, almost two cups of shredded zucchini. Okay, so you're telling me that in order to get one and a half zucchini's amount of nutrition, I'm going to eat this all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, mm-hmm. I was a uh, thing I was nervous about with this was that because zucchini has a lot of water in it, mm-hmm. and so I had all that shredded zucchini, and it was just like well, there was. It seemed like there was a whole cup of water in there, yeah, too. Yeah, do you that, add the water? Do you strain the water? Yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do with it. The recipe says nothing about that. Mm. It just says shred the zucchini, put it in a bowl, add it into the mixture when you're ready to go. And I was like, I've made other breads where it ends up being too, you know, watery, too soaked or whatever. And so I was like, oh, I don't want that to happen here on the first bread I'm making for this show. Uh, so I did pat them. I patted the zucchini with That's paper smart. towels. That's smart. I think um, you're supposed to. That seemed, it seemed right. Yeah. But there was nothing on this Martha Stewart website telling yeah, me to do that. That They need to be more direct. Um, maybe you can have a lot of wet zucchini breads out there. It's a drooping. And angry customers. Uh, yeah. Angry readers. Can you imagine? I'll go add in a comment on the website, Okay, I think. good. Well, yeah, it seemed like it turned out pretty well. Yeah, it did. I, I do, as much as I want to taste delicious breads, I also would have... Loved it if you had <laughs> accidentally put salt instead of sugar or something. <laughs> I feel like you do have to have one episode that is a disaster. There will definitely be one. Ep- definitely, the next episode will be a disaster. It'll, I doubt it's just it. Going You're to too happen. good. You know, Joe, it's. Th- I've had many of your breads. He, we're coworkers, and he's brought many breads into the office, and everyone has been a, a stunning delight. Well, thanks. I wish you know. I th- I feel like you've seen. You've gotten. I, pr- I, pr- I presented a good face to you. Mm-hmm. And did you, you know, not show us the ones? That- you know, there might have been a couple of that <laughs> I was attempted, and those did, went badly. And so I was just like, I'm not going to say anything to the office about this. So, do you think that in future ones you're going to try to do really crazy recipes? Like this was the, this was your entryway, and then you're going to do yeah like- things that we're going to heighten from here. Great, um, awesome. just like a sketch, just like an improv scene. Perfect. Heighten next beats. Well, think about my cricket flower idea. <laughs> I'm gonna look. Like, I'm already. I've already got my team working on cricket flower. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, this turns out pretty good. I've been trying to think of a rating system to oh. rate the breads after we try them. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit of an evaluation. Um, maybe crumbs? Crumbs is pretty good. I was um, also thinking slices, like mm-hmm, slices, mm-hmm. but crumbs is good. Mm-hmm. Um, mm, what other bread did, terms are there? Uh, I think those are, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeasts. <laughs> Yeasts. Uh, ounces Four of gluten's. yeast. <laughs> gluten. <laughs> How many glutens would you get this? <laughs> that's pretty, I don't How know. Many loaves? How many loaves? loaves that's pretty good. good. Maybe we'll just change it each, each time. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, we'll say crumbs. On a scale of one to five crumbs, what would you give this? And what? Um, just so we're clear, one crumb is... One crumb is bad, and five crumbs is like you are at a nice cafe, and they have a really... They're like with a, a gourmet chef, baker, who's big, and you're paying for like a nice slice, and you get it, and it's super good. Okay, okay. Hmm. Five, it's one to five? Yeah, should it be one to ten? Mm, no, no, keep it, keep it, go with your gut, Joe. Okay, I think um, one to five. <laughs> okay, one to five. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Three and a half. Um, and I would say it's mostly because I don't, it doesn't really have as much to do with your baking ability as it is that I just don't think zucchini bread would would make my, uh, you know, undies drop. <laughs> <laughs> Which has even to if, happen. Even if, <laughs> even if go Gordon that. Ramsay made it for me, I just don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I think that's a great point. I don't know if I would ever buy zucchini bread at like a cafe yeah. or something like that. I was going to say like a three. I think a three is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so three, I, three crumbs, mm-hmm. three crumbs. Um, well, great. Now, Lauren, mm-hmm. I told you that you would be trying a bread today mm-hmm. in the breadcast. Um, I'm afraid that was a lie. <gasps> This has been a cake the whole time? This has been a cake the whole time. <laughs> the truth is, is that you aren't going to just be trying one baked good. You're going to be trying two baked goods. I've made a second baked good. Yeah! It's time for a, sec- a segment I call Surprise Rise. <laughs> Surprise Rise! Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> 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 Surprise Rise! Already, surprise rise is not quite. It turned. I didn't end up making a second bread. <laughs> okay. Okay. For this. Okay. So surprise rise. The name is already wrong. Okay. We can jam on the name. Later. But we can jam on. <laughs> we'll definitely jam on it. Or maybe uh, I'll put some jam on this bread. Oh, maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, it turns out I didn't make a bread, any kind of bread at all. Huh? I made cookies. <gasps> Yay! I made pecan sandies. Damn, Ooh. dude! Truly, cookies are. One of my top three favorite foods. Really? Do you, yeah. like, do you eat a lot of cookies? I don't. I try not to. Right. But it is. It's like a major weakness. Um, I've never made these before. Pecan sandies. They're beautiful. So these are kind of like buttery, soft cookies that have powdered sugar on them. Um, I don't know. Let's give them. A, oh, you're not doing them justice in the description. Let's give okay, them a they're time. dusted lightly dusted in some light. beautiful <laughs> powdered sugar. They're about the size of. Uh, those like like what do they call like little silver dollar little crab guys? <laughs> silver dollar crab. You know crab the ones guys? you pick up on the beach. Um, what are those called? Sand like sand. sand I, I'm dollars. thinking of sand it's dollars. Same, it's just, it's like a sand dollar size with a little sand dollar dusting, and I can see the nuts in it. I'm very pumped. It's a hard cookie. It, it is a it is a hard cookie, but you'll be surprised at how soft it is. I think. Oh, well, okay. or maybe not. I don't want like I don't want to get ahead. Of, I don't want I don't want to pre. I don't want to send you down the wrong track. Let's try these. Mm. So crumbly. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's from a restaurant. Mm. That's good. You think so? Mm-hmm. It's like, no, okay, first, to use, again, Mary Berry's terms, you have a very uniform, they're all very uniform in shape and size, thickness, everything. Nothing is burnt, which is like, that's huge when you make cookies. I feel like always the ones on the edge of the pan are going to get burnt. These were very, this was very tough because I was very concerned of under baking. I was concerned about over baking and then I thought I under baked. Nope, they're perfect. But they seem to have worked out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. They're very light, this very crumbly. Perfect. I wish I had tea. You got to you gotta start making your guests tea. You got to have a tea corner. Well, tea we got time. another segment coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was a recipe. I got this from Better Homes and Gardens, Big Baking Cookbook. More than 350 recipes. This is a book I use all the time. It's great. And this is actually the recipe on the cover of the book. <gasps> the picture on the cover of the book is the pecan sandies. I didn't even realize that until I started making the recipe. And there's not, there's very few ingredients in this. One cup of butter, powdered sugar, a tablespoon of water, mm. vanilla, what? flour, pecans, and then you put more sugar on the outside. Damn. What do you think would have happened if you hadn't put that one tablespoon of water in? I mean, who knows? Who knows? What? <laughs> <laughs> one tablespoon of water delicately placed. <laughs> Can I see the right? cover? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. They're they're honestly indistinguishable from the ones on the cover. They're, they're gorgeous. This was um, the first time I'd made a cookie where I made the dough and then I put the dough in the, I do, they, they, they do this on Great British Bake Breathing? Off. Where, no. no. This was, uh, where they chilled the dough. I put mm. the dough in and I chilled, I had to chill it twice. I chilled mm-hmm. it once to firm it up and then I made it into these logs, took the dough, cut the dough in half after I, I combined all those ingredients, made the dough, put it in the refrigerator, it got hard, took the dough out, cut it in half, rolled them into logs. Mm. Mm-hmm. These like kind of logs that are like six inches long. Stuck those back in the fridge for two hours. Let those firm up. Is this what it says in the recipe? This is the recipe. Oh, okay. And then I kind of went, uh, I was kind of going rogue. Like multiple, (laughs) I've never heard of multiple steps to chilling before. Yeah, I Mm -hmm. hadn't either. 
Um, but then you take the logs out after a while and then you just slice them. Mm. And that's why, that's how you get this kind of nice uniform look. Yeah, they're, they're like uh, all the exact same thickness. Yeah, and then you put those on a tray, you bake them around 325, I think it was. Those are delightful. Truly delightful. Yeah, this is, well, great. These turned out nice. What a fun surprise. Well, you know, that's the surprise rise. You never know what's going to happen. Wow. Um, I, I feel <laughs> jealous of every, <laughs> I feel jealous of everyone else who comes on this show and gets to get that surprise again for the first time. I almost wish I could get knocked out so I forgot today and then I could do it again and then get the surprise again. Oh, that would be like, that's like kind of like a 50 first dates uh, yeah, type scenario. I wish I could have the 50 first dates so I could feel the surprise again. It'll never be the same now because I know first, it's coming. 50 first surprise rises. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every day, you never know what's coming. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. um, how many crumbs would we give this? Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say four crumbs. Four crumbs. Wow, mm -hmm. thank you. Um, I'm gonna say three and a half crumbs. Again? Oh, you're very judgmental of your own work. Well, you know, I I, I wish I had a. I don't know if I've ever had a real a regular pecan sandy. Um, so I don't know what to judge these against. Oh, like a store bought one. Yeah, I've had them and I I don't like them, but oh, really? I like these. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, these are just, they're so fresh. Mmm, yum. Um, yeah. I've never made any kind of cookie where you had to slice it like a little log. I've only made the kind where you spoon it out. Yeah, that's what, that's, yeah, that's all I'd made before too. But this was, this was very easy to do. And it kind of made it even easier to put, to just have these nice little slices that you put on a baking sheet and then put in the oven. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, great. Dave, you got a cookie. Dave, you're on your fourth or fifth cookie, it looks like, over there. Uh, like, he hates uh, them. <laughs> okay. They're delicious. <laughs> uh, I dropped one on accident and got powdered sugar all over myself, and I had to keep going. Oh, my God. I feel sorry for and for your viewers who are listening who don't get to delight in this. It's. Uh, do you find yourself, I have this struggle all the time where I'll see a recipe. You follow this recipe to the T, it sounds like. Yes. I will see a recipe and be like, nah. I'm going to, I'm going to switch this out. <laughs> mm, I'm going to put a little orange juice in there. Just we, I'll like try weird stuff and then it never turns out. <laughs> I'm always too nervous to do that. I yeah. wish I was a little bit like, kind of, I wish I could kind of like play fast and loose like that. Yeah. I always get well, nervous. Well, you got to try it. That'll be the, that'll be a crazy episode. That'll probably be your wildest episode. Yeah, that would be. Wiling out with Joe Saunders. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this I did do a I did do a little wild thing in this where I didn't quite have enough butter, so I used the last little bit in, instead of using regular butter, I used uh, uh, the like the vegan butter. Oh my god, Joe! <laughs> You're the bad boy so, baking. <laughs> and I was like, should I go buy more butter? But I was like, no, no, we'll see. It'll be fine. No, you're playing it fast and loose, yeah. fast and furious style. I love it. I mean, I guess you start there and you work your way up to mm -hmm, putting orange mm -hmm. juice. Um, well, great. Well, cool. Well, I think that's it. We're all the time. Lauren, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. And uh, thank you for feeding me. Um, Lauren, do you have a Twitter account or somewhere else? Something else you would like to I mention? I got a Twitter go? account at I'm Lauren McGuire because Lauren McGuire was taken mm. by a 18 year old swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, uh, you can watch the show I write on Wrecked on TBS on Tuesdays. It's really fun. Please watch it because mm. we want to keep doing it. Mm, great. <laughs> uh, well, cool. Well, thanks a lot. This has been The Breadcast. If you'd like to see photos of the baking process and links to the recipes I used, check us out on Twitter, at The Breadcast, all one word, the at The Breadcast. Our engineer is Mark David Christensen, our editor is Rachel Hastings, and our theme song is written and performed by Danny Cohen. Special thanks to the Doughboys, Nick Weiger and Mike Mitchell. I've been your host, Joe Saunders. Thanks for listening. Bye. The Boys.